Hello, this is your channel, Sosanasa One in English. My name is Emmanuel. And now I'm going to show you how to test this fan capacitor. This in my hand, this item is a capacitor. It's a electric capacitor. This is very easy to test. In this case, I'm going to show you how to test this capacitor with digital multimeter and without the digital multimeter. Now, we are going to read the information on the capacitor before do the test. This, in this part, we are reading for microfarad, more or less 5 percent. This is the capacity of this capacitor. This is very important, this information, when we are going to use a digital multimeter that can read microfarad. This is other way to test a capacitor, but in this case, we can't use this digital multimeter to read microfarad. The important information here is the voltage. In this case, 250 volts ultra current voltage is the important information. Here we are watching the frequency and the temperature of this capacitor. The first step is to turn on this digital multimeter in this mode, ultra current voltage mode. And inside the mode, we are going to choose 200 volts. This is the voltage limit. Now, we are going to measure how many volts has this power outlet. In this case, we are watching on the digital multimeter screen 120 volts, more or less. This information is important for know if the voltage on the capacitor is the same that showed the digital multimeter. In this case, the first step is introduce the two lines from the capacitor inside the space in the power outlet in a short time. Now, be careful in this part. Touch and watch what happened. This means this capacitor is good. The other way to test this capacitor is measuring the voltage. Like we are watching on the digital multimeter screen, the voltage is reducing the voltage. This means this capacitor is good. Now, let's do again this test. Introduce the two lines from this capacitor inside the power outlet. One second, two or five seconds, more or less. Now disconnect. And now let's to touch. And if you watch that this happened, mean this capacitor is good. The important information about this test is watch the energy from the capacitor when we touch the two lines between them, the two capacitor lines. If we watch the energy from the capacitor, means this capacitor is good. We can watch this when we charge the capacitor with energy and when this energy release in this way means this capacitor 
is good. And in this way, you can test a capacitor like this in these two ways, with digital multimeter and without the digital multimeter. This is your channel, so Sanasa One, subscribe, and share this video, give me a like, and thank you for watching. See you next time.